Hey y'all, Jamie Lee Thurston here, and I'm about to head to Veterans Memorial Park in South Burlington to meet with veteran Zachariah Fike, who started his own nonprofit dedicated to finding and returning lost Purple Heart medals back home. The Purple Heart is awarded to those who were wounded or killed while serving in the U.S. military. Since its creation in 1932, almost two million Purple Hearts have been awarded. Now over the years, many have been lost, stolen, or even sold to collectors. Zach has made it his mission to retrieve these medals and bring them back to their rightful homes of honor. His organization, Purple Hearts Reunited, has already returned 500 medals, and that number is continuing to grow. When we receive a medal, the first thing we do is we do the analysis to determine where that medal's from. Through that, we're able to start with that name and do the historical research to find your family. We work our way down until we find a living descendant. We had that medal professionally framed, and we'll travel thousands of miles to deliver these medals in person. When a family loses something as special as a Purple Heart, and you get the opportunity to return it some 70 years later, you're bringing closure to a family. You're answering a lot of questions they never knew, and you're bringing a small piece of him back home. There's a higher being that's involved in what we do. You hear details and you hear stories and you see a perspective I would have never seen before in my life. And my generation and younger are losing those strong pieces of history that are so incredibly significant. Sometimes our researchers find information that these families had no idea about. And we bring details and we bring history and we bring memories that they may have not had. I was just in Kansas City, and I did a World War I return. Then she goes, oh my god, I haven't seen this medal since I was four years old. The purple is still just as beautiful. It was healing, it was light, it was closure. We have the Ballard Guard team, which are veterans that we are vetting and talking to to help us return these medals. And it's cathartic for them. It's those veterans that were overseas that haven't quite found a way to transition back. And they find it in speaking with these families and returning a crucial piece of healing. You know, I found my own therapy through this project. In 2009, my mom found a posthumous Purple Heart in an antique shop. It was a Christmas gift. But as soon as I saw that medal, I wanted to know his story. So it set me on a journey to find out everything I could about him. And through that, it led to the discovery of his family. So around this return, they wanted to have their first ever family reunion. So I got to witness family members ages three years old to 90 years old meeting for the first time. And it became more than just a medal. It became reuniting a family. That mission of getting in a plane and going to deliver a medal, that's my mission. The objective is making that family whole again. Zach was able to find his mission. Unfortunately, that's not the case for many veterans. There's a wide variety of challenges that affect men and women transitioning home from active duty, and many don't get the help that they need. And soldiers going to combat, you see a lot of good things and you see a lot of bad things. And each soldier deals with that differently. When you come home and you reintegrate into society, you have challenges. And I think soldiers try to hide that initially, and they shut down. The biggest thing for veterans that come home is they miss the mission. They miss the camaraderie of their brothers and sisters. And if you can find your own mission where you can give back to others, find that one thing within your heart that you love and go for it. For more information on the resources and support available, visit veterans.vermont.gov.